One person has been arrested in connection with truck torchings in Pitradip, this is in Mpumalanga. The hunt is still on, though, for a dozen more people of interest who've been identified. ENCS senior reporter Spamandla Koke is monitoring developments and joins me now uh, just to, of course, expand on this breaking news coming in at this stage. Spamandla, good morning to you, colleague. What do you know so far, particularly about this arrest that's been made? Indeed, according to our sources, which are highly placed, three of them have said or have made ENCA to believe that one person in Pumalanga has been arrested in connection with the torching of the trucks. All of that, of course, we are told that within the next couple of hours or 48 hours, there will be the official confirmation and statement that will confirm such. We understand from our highly placed sources that police's top brass are being briefed, they are being kept abreast of what is happening, and of course, that simply means then that police are still pursuing other people who are believed to be behind the torching of the trucks. Yesterday, Police Minister General Peggy Tell is saying that they are pursuing about 12 people who are believed to be ringleaders. According to our sources, they say this person that has been taken by the police is believed or alleged to be one of the so-called ringleaders in this regard, and they regard that as a breakthrough in terms of this case and ensuring that uh, there is or rather there has been a breakthrough that has been made. I keep on checking my phone because, of course, information keeps on coming through and we believe that police are confident now that with this latest development, which, of course, will be confirmed moving forward, they believe that they are starting to take shape in form of, you know, investigating these cases and it's something that has been worrying or bothering South Africans to say how can trucks continue to be torched and there is no action and it appears as if the public pressure that has been there has led to the police to move with speed in their investigation. Let's emphasize that of course at this stage it's still very early of course moving forward the police will be coming out to confirm certain things but they have been able to get hold of one person we are made to believe by our highly placed sources who are saying this story will keep on developing as things will be moving very quick from now onwards. Yeah. And also understanding, you know, protocol and procedure, as uh, Pamantla Koke, you know, the suspect has to appear in court before uh, he or she can be named. But we cannot ignore that viral video that's uh, uh, online at the moment showing, you know, someone coming into a truck and uh, setting it alight before then quickly uh, getting out of that truck. Kali, can we confirm that that video uh, is linked to recent events? Uh, in which we have seen those trucks uh, being torched. It's been widely reported that that video is linked to recent events. However, when it comes to this matter and the latest developments, nothing is confirmed. Of course, police would have to follow protocol, as you have rightly said, that a person who has been arrested still has certain rights and he has to appear before a court of law. He has to be formally charged and then things will kick in from there. So a lot of videos have been doing the rounds. Remember, when you have such a story developing, you sometimes get uh, information that is unverified and some of that information is verified. But it is widely believed that the latest video that has been doing the rounds is related to the latest incidents of the torching of the trucks in South Africa. Three provinces are affected by this. It's mm. Mpumalanga, KwaZulu Natal and Lipopo. But according to the information that has been doing the rounds, that video is believed to have happened or occurred in Peter Diff Mpumalanga. So there is that part of it. However, when it comes to the latest information that ENCA has gotten from its three highly placed police sources, they are saying for now they are dealing with this person of interest that they have taken in and then moving forward as to how that person will be 
basically processed and charged if eventually it leads to that. Remember, you must be very cautious when you are dealing with such stories that are rapidly changing. There is a common trend in South Africa whereby those who are believed or alleged to be suspects are arrested and later on they are released because police will say there is no sufficient evidence that links them to any crime that they would have been arrested and alleged to have committed. So we need to tread carefully in this regard. For now, what we know is one person, according to the sources, has been taken in and then police will decide moving forward after processing. That person will have to be formally charged if at all he or she is linked to what is happening. And they remain a suspect at this stage until they are charged. Well, thank you so much, colleague. We'll leave it there uh, for now. Pamantla Koke out for us regarding these breaking news. One person uh, being arrested out in Petrut. You can see that uh, right side of your screen right now. That's where our strap is, uh, of course, giving us the latest that we know so far around these arrests. Uh, I understand, of course, this in connection with the trucks that have been torched. Uh, you would know from Pumalanga, Limpopo, as well as KwaZulu Natal. 21 trucks in total, we understand, uh, being torched so far. We'll continue to update you as soon as there are any other developments right here on ENCM.